isn't working. It's about time we paint the dual engine go-kart. It desperately, desperately needs it. Now, let's uh, let's strip this whole thing down. Let's get the old paint off. Let's get off all the rust and get the frame ready to paint. Now, you may have noticed that one of the engines is missing. I did take one of the engines off to put it on the mini green ATV uh, to bring it down to Texas. I ended up selling it in Texas. Therefore, we are missing an engine on this thing. But Tim from Go Power Sports sent me a brand new Tillotson to put on this thing. I've been working a little bit to put stage three performance parts on this, just like the Hort engine already on here. So we now have everything we need to paint this thing and get this thing running again. So let's uh, strip this whole thing down and start painting it.
so because of how badly this whole thing was rusted, I'm gonna be replacing most of the hardware from this thing just because when it's when it's this point when it gets to like you know that bad it's just you might as well just replace it with new stuff just because we sl we put a fresh coat of paint on here we don't want to put old rusty hardware on a fresh new coat of paint so uh definitely replacing these just because uh, they look really ugly so let's replace all the hardware with new hardware and let's start reassembling this thing
always do that. It makes such a mess in here. <laughs> I always ask myself, why do I keep doing that when it makes such a mess in the shop? But, I don't know, at, le at least it looks cool. So, we finally finished the dual engine go-kart. This took me a very long time to finally paint this thing and it definitely, definitely needed it. The frame was super rusted. Everything was so rusted I had to replace a lot of hardware, a lot of parts on this thing. I had to re just re simply replace them just because they're so rusted that I could clean them up, but you know, the, the protective layer that keeps them from rusting, it was already taken off. So if I just cleaned the rust off, they would have just rusted again. So that's why I just replaced, it, replaced most of the hardware, all the nuts and bolts I replaced, and then some hubs and other stuff I replaced. But um, we finally reassembled this thing and it's finally painted and we got both the engines back on here. And uh, yeah, so, I really want to take this thing off-road to see what this thing is capable of. Unfortunately, the way it's designed, the whole, the, whole, the whole thing of the two engines, it's kind of a flawed system, I will admit, just because one engine is always going to be running stronger than the other, one of them's going to be idling more. I'll be honest, it kind of is a, it's a bit of a challenge because if one of the engines dies, you kind of can't really tell until it's like, oh, one of the engines, and then you're not sure which engines, are you just hitting starter buttons, hoping you're not gonna break anything. So, kind of a flawed system, I will admit, but it does look cool, it works, it sounds amazing, and it's a good proof of concept. So I definitely wanna take this thing off-road to see what this thing's capable of, mainly test out the suspension, because what I really wanna do is you know, I, I want to build something like this again, except not two engines. What I want to do is take this thing off-road, test out the suspension, see how well everything works. If the suspension works amazing, I can sell this thing and then build the next project. I want to build something almost like this, a little bit smaller, but I want to use the Kawasaki Ninja 650 motorcycle engine that I bought in Pennsylvania when I was collaborating with quad racers. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've shown that off in the in a on in these videos, but I did buy a 2008 Kawasaki Ninja 650 which produces 85 horsepower at whatever RPM. It's a super super small engine, uh, uh, fuel injected, so that thing is awesome. And I found out a couple days ago that they sell a recluse clutch for that motorcycle. So what I really want to do is build something almost like this with the same long travel independent suspension like this, but using one engine, using the Kawasaki Ninja 650, possibly add a reverse gearbox because that would be awesome. And that's really, that's really what I want to build next. But I need to finish a couple projects, need to get a couple more projects running before I start that project. I'm thinking about calling it the ultimate off-roading vehicle just because it's gonna be way overpowered. I want it to be small, uh, smaller than this frame because this thing's kind of massive. Um, you know, super overpowered engine, you know, six gears with a recluse clutch, that'd be the ultimate off-roading vehicle. So that's what I want to build next, but it's gonna be a little while before we build that. So um, anyway, I want to take this thing off-road. Not sure when I'm gonna be able to get to it. Um, I'm gonna to try to do it. Soon. I'm not sure when I'm going to up upload that video, but the next video is going to be of working on this and working on the wiring. But um, anyway, now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me all the parts I use for this go kart. Everything you, almost everything you see here, I'll be putting the links in the description below so you guys can find all this stuff. Go check that out. But anyway, I got to end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video.
Well, that was weird. One of the throttles got stuck open. <laughs> That's why you have kill switches right here. What happened?